than a decade. If it looks like this man is playing the piano, you're wrong. He's actually looking for the perfect scream. His name is Ben Burt, and in the movie business, he's considered the Wizard of Oz of sound. At his fingertips, the end result of decades of sound effect research. You've heard those pitiful screams in some of the most sensational movie blockbusters in history. How about a little fire with a scream? And these high-tech sounds became the ultimate battle of the Death Star. But if you're thinking this is a story about electronic gizmos that produce special sound effects for movies, you're mistaken. This is a story about some of the greatest secrets in the movie business. Some of those secrets involve a styrofoam coffee cup, a fat red cabbage, and this elderly lady from Tucson, Arizona. Things that hardly seem high-tech. In fact, despite all this fancy equipment, Ben Burt's approach to sound effects is pretty old-fashioned. Yeah, I've always had dreams of being a newsreel cameraman in some ways. You know, you read about the stories back in the 30s of the men that worked for Pathé News or Movie Tone running around the world with their cameras trying to capture the sounds of, you know, humanity and warfare and so on. When Ben needs a sound, he doesn't rely entirely on these computers. He goes out and looks for it. One day he looked for and recorded some bears. It um, wasn't a simple recording session. Bears don't sit down in front of a microphone and just emote. You have to just sort of document whatever they'll do. With a lot of playing around, those bear sounds became... <coughs> Chewbacca the Wookiee. Bert was very fussy about how Chewy was going to sound. He told us what he did. Slow the recordings down, maybe speed other things up, and manipulate the bits of recordings, and I would essentially started uh, a, a word list for the Wookiee. All right, don't lose your temper. I'll come right back and give you a hand. With R2-D2 of Star Wars, Ben ran into a problem. How do you make this little guy sound human? Ben tried a computer. But that didn't give the character its warmth. It sounded more like, uh, you know, just a machine reacting or something inert. And I was kind of frustrated with all the electronic noises I made. So I just decided, to, I grabbed the microphone, and I just made some funny sounds into it. Finally, Bert blended human sounds with electronic sounds. What you're hearing now is the production soundtrack from Star Wars. That means you're only hearing the actual sounds taking place on the movie set. There are no sound effects yet. Watch, but also listen. Okay, look at the door. Now watch the scenes and listen what happens after Ben Burt steps in. Did you hear that? They shut down the main reactor. Now sounds Ben comes up with are entered into his computer system and called up later by hitting the various piano keys. But to find the sounds to begin with, it still takes plain old imagination, like the sound of a Honda Civic, which ended up in one of the most exciting adventure scenes ever filmed. Instead of starting the engine, I just took the brake off the car and we started rolling down the hill on this gravel road, with a rather large gravel, uh, rough road. And as we started to accelerate in the car, we realized that the rolling car sounded very interesting and so we stopped immediately and we got our microphones out and we, we put a microphone under the car just a few inches from the back tire so what ben had discovered accidentally a car rolling down a gravel road became this being hit with uh, not in the end of undershirt wet take one like an old-time radio sound man Ben Bird is the guy directors look to for ingenuity 
Here he is smacking a cabbage in these home movies. Try to guess what he was looking for. We tried all kinds of different things. Oh, you know, pitching things in the catcher's mitts and swinging baseball bats into leather jackets and, and uh, beating cabbages. Okay, this will be punching red cabbage with boxing glove. Take one. When it comes to certain sounds, there's nothing better than the real thing. And that sometimes can be dangerous. That's Ben recording ricocheting rifle shots. Here he is strapped into a biplane. Most of the time, Bird is a kind of sound explorer who looks for sounds anywhere he can find them, like behind his own TV. And I was listening to the recorder while I had the microphone plugged in, and the, the microphone happened to pass behind the picture tube on the television set that was just sitting there running. And it picked up a signal just by induction from the back of the picture tube. It made a strange sputtering hum in my headphones. It was coming directly into the microphone. So I said, wow, that, that sounds like a laser sword. A little further experimentation, and finally, a grown man setting fire to a styrofoam coffee cup? After Star Wars, everyone considered him Dr. Sound. He told us about the time he got a call from Steven Spielberg. Something about a movie he was doing starring a cute little alien. And it doesn't speak English. It's making strange grunts and groans and maybe muttering in its own home language. This was Ben's solution. An elderly lady he met in a photo shop. A young man came over to me and introduced himself and said, did I always speak in that low voice? And I said, yes, it's the only voice I have. Meet Pat Welch, the voice of E.T. I wouldn't say he was just a taskmaster. I would say he was a perfectionist. A sample of E.T. as directed by Steven Spielberg and Ben Burt. Ouch. Ouch. Elliot. What? Elliot. 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 E.T. 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 Good. Phone home. Phone home. Phone home. Oh, no. Oh. E.T. phone home? E.T. phone home. And finally... I'll always be right here. For Ben Burt, hopefully he'll always be right here, coming up with the sounds that you will be hearing at a theater near you. Right now, he's finishing what he thinks is his most challenging assignment, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Ben says it's the culmination of years of sound effects research. Oh, rats. When you see it, we know...